Hi, this video is going to quickly overview the three different inputs that you can do with the on-screen keyboard on a Chromebook. And so the first one I'm going to feature is the swipe feature. And when you tap in a text field, it should pop up with the on-screen keyboard. And before I begin that, I want to also show that you can have this in the full bottom view and you can also have a side docked view where you can move the keyboard around. So that way it's at your convenience. Either way, the swipe will work and so will the handwriting feature and so will the voice. All of these options work, whether it is the full option or whether it is the compact version. So the first one I'm going to focus on is the swipe feature. I'm going to click in this text field and the swipe feature has been on Android devices for quite some time. This is going to be fairly new on iOS devices. So if you are used to an iOS device, well, this is going to be a little bit of a learning curve for you. But to use the swipe feature, you can drag. And as you can see, it's going to have errors. Let's try that again. You just go from letter to letter. So drag. And then if it's incorrect, you can see the menu at the top. Guess is what you're trying to swipe there. You can drag your finger or stylus. And it's not catching stylus there. And that's how you can type using the swipe feature. You can also do voice texting. This is a nice feature. If you're not wanting to use your keyboard and you're wanting to be able to work directly uh, with the screen flip back on a Chromebook and use it in tablet mode, I'm going to go ahead and press on this microphone. Any text field is now also the ability to voice type. And then you're able to change it accordingly. Uh, you can add in your punctuation by saying period or comma, etc in order to make sure that you get the correct punctuation. You can also handwrite with this. This is a cool feature. I'm going to go full screen on the keyboard this time. And up here at the top is a little swirl, and that swirl comes up, and you can actually handwrite directly in this space. Period at the end, OK? And then you can see that it is guessing what I'm trying to put there at the top, um, and I can just keep uh, the current setting as it is. If I need to fix a specific error, I can backspace here, put a capital S. And if it's trying to guess the capital S, I picked the second one there and it allowed me to capitalize it without ever switching it back to the regular keyboard. If I need to switch it back to the keyboard, I can click on the keyboard icon. Okay, so those are the three different ways that you can input with the on screen keyboard. You can swipe, you can voice text, and you can handwrite. And it is a fantastic feature if you're wanting to be able to work your Chromebook in tablet mode and not necessarily just use the keyboard all the time.